Good evening, everyone, and welcome to High School Football Final. The adventures this year have taken us to Week 9, and we're excited to bring you tonight's show. On my left, it's Dick Halsmeyer of American Shoe Service. It's Roger Miller on my immediate right from Mizzig Miller & Company. And on the far right, it's Brad Seibert of Plymouth Insurance Group. High School Football Final is brought to you in part by Mizzig Miller & Company, the Plymouth Insurance Group, and WQEL, WBCO Radio, and Crawford County Now. I'm Gary Oakle from WQEL and Crawford County Now. And without further ado, Brad, get us started. All right, my first pick of the uh, week is going to go to Zach Patterson, senior at Bucyrus High School. Uh, Bucyrus traveled up to Cary this weekend, this last weekend, and uh, played a very physical game. And uh, Zach was uh, in the middle of everything with 19 tackles. Uh, Zach did have a uh, have a sack and an interception uh, for the uh, week. Uh, so Zach, my first sticker goes to you, sir. My pick is Brian Bryce Lutz of Colonel Crawford in a 34-6 loss. He was involved in 23 tackles and three behind the line. Zach actually leads the N10 with 111 tackles. So Zach, you are my pick of the week. My pick is going to go to Colonel Crawford's Owen Coker. Owen uh, is a linebacker, had a big night on defense. Uh, mm -hmm. He had 10 tackles, one of them behind the line of scrimmage, and he also had a fumble recovery and a big 34-6 win over rival Buckeye Central. So, uh, Zach, or Owen, nice job. Helmet sticker goes out to you. My helmet sticker goes to Jared Gurney of Seneca East. The Tigers had a tough Saturday night contest. And they came away victors 28-16 to over Tipping Calvert, and that win placed them in the postseason. Jared, a linebacker and strong safety for the Tigers, had 10 tackles. Seven of them were solo. He had five tackles behind the line and three and a half sacks. But he wasn't done. He forced three fumbles and had two pass breakups as well. So, Jared Gurney, my helmet sticker goes to you. All right, my next pick, uh, I'm going to stick with the Cary B. Cyrus game, and I'm going to uh, pick Braden Wentling uh, from the Cary Blue Devils. Uh, Cary is known as a, uh, a great running team, and uh, which they did do uh, spectacularly on Friday night. Uh, but they did uh, uncork Braden Wentling's uh, arm for six completions on eight attempts for 235 yards. Uh, he also had five carries for 16 yards and a total of four touchdowns as well as one two-point conversion. Uh, he wasn't done on offense, though. Uh, he also stepped over to the defensive side, had five tackles, four of which were solo with one behind the line. So, Braden Wetling, uh, that's a yeoman's effort on a Friday night. My pick is for you, sir. My next pick is Cole Heinlein from Winford. He is a uh, linebacker. And it was in a 53-0 win over Upper Sandusky. Cole was involved in 10 tackles, and two were forced fumbles that were recovered. Cole, congratulations. You're my pick of the week. Winners, do not forget to pick up the coveted t-shirt, your subway card, and your helmet sticker at either location of Mizzic Meller and B. Cyrus and in Upper Sandusky. That takes care of week nine, and we're glad you could join us this week. We want to make sure that you join us next week for our season finale. Keep in mind that the high school football final videos can be watched online on the Facebook pages of Mizzig Miller & Company, Plymouth Insurance Group, WQEL, and Crawford County Now. So until next week, have a good night, everybody. Go try. Go try. <laughs>